Uh, being a leader is hard. Um, you can delegate authority. You cannot delegate responsibility. Not everyone can be a leader. So how do you create a culture where people are, um, are okay with being led? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good guys today. I'm here with Peace and Makeover Paige. So guys, we're going to be reacting to why not everyone is cut out for leadership. Guys, let's go right on to this. Hi Charlie, I wanted to ask you about uh, what your thoughts on the current American work culture and how it currently overemphasizes leadership. And although leadership is important and gets us through like important crises, hmm. sometimes the average worker is just left out. Yeah, that's interesting. So, uh, what, what's my? Th you say American worker culture? Is that right? Like everyone wants to be a leader, okay. but like if everyone's leader, no one can be a leader, right? So. That's that's an interesting point. I've actually thought that deeply about it. Um, I'll disagree. I don't think everyone wants to be a leader. I think everyone wants the perks of being a leader for sure, but they certainly don't want the responsibilities of being a leader. Uh, being a leader is hard. Um, you can delegate authority, you cannot delegate responsibility. Um, and so everyone kind of wants the kind of image of being a boss on Instagram, corner office, you know, you get all the perks and all that, but do they really want to be there 2 a.m. on a Sunday morning having to get, go crunch a deadline when it's you on the line that have to do that? Because that's what we that own business and run business have to do. There's no days off, it's seven days a week, it's constant pressure, borrowing money, paying bills, firing people, hiring people. So, but you're right, not everyone can be a leader. So how do you create a culture where people are, um, are okay with being led? I think you need better leaders. I hate to go back to it. I, do, I, I, I don't know if I agree with you. I don't think there's an overemphasis on leadership. I, I think that there's an overemphasis because there's such a lack of a crisis. Uh, there's a the lack of leaders and such a crisis to actually find people. And so what is a leader? Um, a leader is someone that says, like George S. Patton said, lead, follow, or get out of the way. What we see in America, we have a lot of people that do finger pointing and are not people that are willing to cast a vision, work towards it, and meaningfully try to execute on it. The greatest leader of the 20th century is Winston Churchill, period. That's why we're never surrender right here. Winston Churchill cast the vision against impossible odds. He united a people against existential and material and immediate evil. Um, he rallied people with optimism and charm and a perseverance that was relentless when he was the minority of people thought it couldn't be done, surviving the blitz, pushing forward into Europe and liberating them from absolute existential and just unspeakable evil. I don't know if we have that. That, that sort of a leader is very hard to find. Um, I believe Washington, Lincoln, and Churchill are the three best Western leaders we have post-1776. Okay, guys. Um, there's something I'm going to agree with Charlie on, and that is Everyone wants that name tag of being a leader, but people are not ready to embody the responsibilities of being a leader. Sure. I mean, I can like say, oh, I want to be called a president. I mean, you see me on the road, you can't even come close to my car, you can't touch it. Because like, I have a convoy with me, I have soldiers working alongside with me. But when it's time, when crises arise in the country, look, I don't even want to be on that table having to say, oh, you need to do this, I need to go to this place, I need to go talk to these people. I need like nobody is ready for that stress. But when it's time to like, you know, tell your president, president, this is coming, like you're ready for that glam and everything, like but nobody is ready for the responsibility. And I think it's really bad because if you see in our present day world and society, we have so many bad leaders, like I am saying this if you, even for my country, like I say that we have so many bad leaders, like they're not ready to do what people voted them in for. I mean, how can you be the president of the country and your people are going through so many hardships and you can't even step in to do something to help these people? You like you wouldn't even say a thing, you know. You're not you're not there trying to like reach out to these people to know what you can do to actually solve like you guys come to head and like know what you can do to solve that issue, whether you're outside maybe going for treatment, visiting other countries, isn't that bad and you call yourself a leader for people to elect you in a particular position because they've trusted you with the whole society, the whole nation that, oh, this person is able to rule us. This person is able to listen to our complaints when there is need to do that. This person is able to come up with solutions to our problems. But people don't elect you in for you to show off or for you to eat the money or like, Obviously, when you get to a high position, you get paid well. But like, you having to get paid well, they didn't elect you for you and your family to enjoy the position. 
they elected you because they know that you can handle whatever it is that the country is facing. And I feel like so many leaders need to just be sat down in the room and they need to be given orientation about what a leader's role is. Like what is that roles are like because people just go there and do what they want, but it's more like they don't know that you going to that position, you're going there for the people and not for yourself. So guys, what do you think about it? I think people are, are looking for position for the wrong reason. There are a lot of people just because they are outspoken and bold, they feel like they can do, they feel like they can lead. But most of them, they don't even know what they are doing. They're just doing it just for the prestige, just for the feeling of it, and for the benefit they get from it. But I feel uh, you need to have the perseverance to make things better. You need to um, understand the people you're serving. You need to know that you as a leader, you are the one serving the people. They are not there for you. You are there for them. You are there to lead them in the right direction. You are there to care about their needs, care about what um, they need to do or what needs to be put in place. Just like you said, uh, we don't have too much leader. We, we need good leaders because basically, if you look at president in a lot of countries, you see that everyone is just looking for what to benefit. Everyone is just selfishly entering the power just to get what to benefit them, their friends, their family, and their own, um, I don't know, but their own environment. But we need someone that cares about the people, someone that have, I won't say someone that has suffered, but someone that knows how hard it is to be in the situation you are and um, have empathy for you and is willing to do things to help um, people in their situation but we're just getting people that they just there are people born with silver spoons so when you say that you can't pay your rent they don't understand what that means because some of them don't even know that people pay rent they don't know that you have to pay rent every year or every month so that they, they can't comprehend your suffering because they have never been there and they, are, they can't understand it because they're not in that environment or that phase of life. So we need people that understand, people that persevere to do better things, not someone that's just there looking for what to gain. All right, this side is all. As a leader, there are some qualities and there are some things you have, you need to have as a leader. Well, I say just like what she said, you are supposed to, as a leader, there are some orientations you're supposed to read. A leader must be, you must be tolerance. You must have patience. You must you must learn how to like say learn how to advise and learn how to abide by any complaint given to you. Yeah, because there are some complaints that some citizens may give to you. They may be even though you don't have the valuable things to give to them, but there's some positive impact you can give to them. Your words alone of encouragement can keep some people. Because will I say just like I will I say just the way my country now is people are there shouting hunger this and that will I say if though the president is not hearing what even like say even though he's trying to play a death card on them will I say some people also are in the chair there some people are there who can also still hear and actually I tell him right why. In, in some position, they have the president, the vice president, the senate. They are the rest of them. All of them, they are all in power. Just that the president actually make the final decision. That is all about it. But will I say we should, the president, they should try and be hearing the cries of the people that are in control because they have put trust in you that you can do this. So don't go there and fail them. Don't go there and look, look at what she also to say. You should not only be not be only a president or because of your outspoken and respect. I know these qualities are important, but at least you must know how to comply to any situation given to you. You must learn how to organize. These are the things that are supposed to be among the orientation sometimes given to some president to read. These are some things that are actually supposed to abide with as in follow for because I think some people are just there all because of the fantasy the name the would like say the recognition and the rest of them some people don't even know the meaning of what they are going there to do that is just it so guys in conclusion please if you are being elected or appointed for any position that has to do with leading people please know what you're going to do there you're not going there to be served you're going there to serve the people that is why they trusted that particular position into your care and your hands because they know that you are capable of you know serving them so please do these things for the right reasons and not for your own selfish reasons and don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel love you guys
Right? 